little bit of like a skincare Sunday reset since I couldn't do a Sunday reset with the house clean. <laughs> I cleaned and by the end of it I was like, I was supposed to record all of this but I was so in the mood of cleaning that I just like forgot. So I'm gonna retouch my hair because um, it's starting to get brassy again and that doesn't look pretty. So let's fix that. My hair, like, if you guys, the people who know me and saw me and saw how short my hair used to be, they would probably agree with me that it's grown a lot. We're just gonna tie it up in a bun and we're gonna put on my face mask, but first, let's clean this. Okay, so that's that. My hair. They're still stained. It's okay. It'll come off in the shower. It usually does. Not on my nails, though. My nails usually do stay stained, but that's okay. I bought these cute press-on nails, though, because I decided to not ever glue fake nails on myself again because it really ruined my nail barrier. Um, You can kind of maybe see. Yeah, you see those, like, white streaks, like, right there, right there. If you, like touch my nail it feels like bumpy and that's from like how I would like remove the nail from the nail glue and it wasn't pretty but I found these really cute ones these were supposed to be for when I went to watch Grisi in the lab and I forgot to put them on and I was like bruh okay so I'm gonna put them on for Halloween they'll match my silk costume I'm very excited about it. but the vice mask I'm gonna use this one I love it. Um, it's a blemish mask and I have like, I don't have a lot of active pimples. Maybe just like this one. Um, maybe this one right here. And then that's it. Cause like all of this here, this one specifically, and this one specifically in here, that's all acne scars. And what I've been using to help with that is this one. I don't know how you say it, um, Ole, Hen he Ole Henriksen Glow to OH Dark Spot Toner. This one, I've been working with it for a long time and it has cleared me up. Like, maybe like the only ones that it hasn't cleared up on me is these ones. Those ones have been tough. I've had them like for years now. But anyways, I just used my finger to apply it. I had an applicator, but I left that at home. So gotta do what you gotta do sometimes it's a little different this time last time I did not <laughs> brush my eyebrows so I think that's why the cut did not this airpod always falls out on me Anyways, I'm gonna do my eyebrows like how I normally would do them. I think that's how my eyebrows are gonna actually end up good. So those are my eyebrows cleaned up. Let's do the rest of my face. <laughs> I swear by it every, every week. Okay. Yeah, I feel so comfy. I love it. And my looking, the worn out shoes that are not worn out through you. That's just the design. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about these shoes. They're cute. The colors are cute. I never imagined to combine blue, pink, and orange into a shoe color plus white. You know what? They're cute. I've been looking weird color combos. And then 
my hair clip. I'm also thinking of buying hair extensions, like clip-ons. If anyone recommends some good ones that aren't like $150 or something like that. I saw some that are like clip-ons, $25 on Amazon, and a lot of girls on TikTok store buy them. So I might do that. But right now, as you can tell, I have that peekaboo under. And I want to wait till that peekaboo is gone so I can buy the hair extensions because I don't know if I'll dye my hair black. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it this color that I have it, my original hair color, which is like a dark brown. I don't know if I'm gonna do a honey brown or like an ashy brown. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what's gonna look good on me. I don't know. <laughs> but until these peekaboos are gone and this money piece is gone, we're not, we're not gonna do anything to it. And I, I'm never cutting my hair short again. Came back from the shim, the shim, the gym. I was about to say, and I showered. Um, I'm gonna kind of show you my morning routine, cause I'm gonna go out and it's still gonna be sunny outside, which means I still need some SPF. So, um, I think I showed you guys this last night, the Vaseline I used on my lips, cause my lips look always dry, and this is like the only one that helps them feel. Hydrated. Um, um, trying to not mix my morning routine with my night routine. Okay, I'm gonna use this snail beacon that I showed you guys. Um, I think I also showed you the other night. I just do a pump of it. I do it mostly like concentrating on my T zone. I could also show you guys my like daily makeup routine. I think it's been a while since I showed you. I just do that, let it like sink into my skin for a little bit. I use two serums. I use these day and night. I use the niacinamide from Ordinary, which helps with like pores and redness. And I use the vitamin C serum because it also has vitamin E and hyaluronic acid, which helps with like wrinkles and like keeps your skin plump. I also heard it helps with acne, so. Like I said, my only active ones right now are this one, this one. These ones are just like, I don't know what they're called. I forget, but it's like, it's not a pimple because it doesn't have anything in it. It's just like a bump, you know? And like the rest is just scarring on my face. So I use the niacinamide, mostly where I get my pores and my redness in my skin, which tends to be like mostly my T-zone. So I also let that sink in. While well, that's drying, I apply this on. Try to not let it touch your skin, like the pipe pet, because if not, it'll collect bacteria. And then just apply that on. You're looking like a glazed crispy cream. Okay. Then, while that's drying, I like using, I use the eyelash and brow serum for hair growth that I showed you guys the other night. I use that day and night, which is probably why it's been working a lot, because, you know, I, I use it a lot. I don't know. I, I swear by this thing. I don't, I tried castor oil, but I noticed I started getting pimples on my eyebrow area. And so I was like, yeah, I'm never doing oils again on my face. Like, my face is oily. I That doesn't work for me. Maybe if you have dry skin, it won't affect it. My hy hydrate it, help it. Who knows? That didn't work for me. They're all different, right? I'm just showing you what works for me. Because who knows? Maybe you can do your research, try it out if you're daring. If you're daring enough. Personally, that just works for me. Okay. Then. I told you guys that I have very sensitive eyelids in my neck area. It's like an eczema type of thing. So this little lotion I apply is a little bit of a thicker consistency that my acne part of my face would not like. <laughs> when I had to use it because I had to, I did have to use it all over my face at one point because my little irritation problem did get pretty bad. And not only like 
it's like yay my irritation was gone but nay because i was breaking out horribly it was horrible which is probably why i'm filled with acne scars and i never even picked up my pimples that's like the one thing that irritates me picking up pimples uh -uh. i used pimple patches but like this was such bad acne that it it still left me scarred i um i live by these pinoxal ones so then i showed you guys my omega cream from inky list um i like this one because it doesn't make me feel greasy um i looked i looked up. okay whatever um i was supposed to have placed another the lotion, not a lotion, but like the acne treatment under that. It's okay. I'll put it on at night. And then I use this one, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost City Shield Water Dome Sunscreen. This is the one that has 25 SPF. So I just kind of do dots because like you don't need a whole lot. Like with a little dot, it covers my whole face. I actually might have put too much for my neck. Okay, because like how I said, like I'm gonna leave it when it's still sun. There's still sun outside. I'll come back when it's nighttime. But you know, still gonna use the SPF, guys. I used to think it didn't matter, but then after I read that S that not putting on SPF could actually be triggering my acne more, I was like, oh, that might make sense. And I mean. I'm on my time of month right now and I'm not really broken out. It's just like that's an acne scar. Maybe that one, but like the rest are just acne scars. So it's been working, y'all. It's been working. Just gotta be patient. And like how I said, I can't wait to change into my um like all Korean skincare. I'm excited. I'm gonna just fix my hair real quick so I can dry a specific way and then we'll go to the makeup part. I usually slick back, slick back my hair because, sorry, my bathroom is like sitting weird. Um, I usually slick back my hair because it kind of helps my hair straighten in a way. I don't like my curly hair as much. Sorry guys, I just don't. Not right now at least, because I was looking at pictures of when it was longer and I was like, it looked cute when it was healthy and not ruined because of all the hair that I do. So I'm gonna, I used the Revolution soap bar. I was using this one, but I don't really like it right now because it, I can't put on the makeup that well. It like smears and it looks blocky and ugly. So we're gonna brush my eyebrows out first, but I do have to wipe my eyebrows because if I don't wipe the soap off, the makeup looks chalky as hell. So I always switch up my makeup routine a half a year in. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like I was like looking through pictures and I was like, my eyebrows look better then, and I know that makeup routine. So I was like, let's go back to it. And I I just kind of play around with what looks best. Like right now, I don't really like how my skin has been looking with the Morphe tint. Um, and I just ran out, so I'm like. I don't leave till Friday. I'm like, what do you mean I ran out? I did not realize I was running out with my bottle because since the bottle is glass, I'm like not thinking that it's not, that it's full. How do I explain that? Since it's heavy, I'm assuming it's full and it's, that's not the case. I keep forgetting it's glass. That means it's gonna weigh more, you know what I mean? And since I pick it up every day, it feels the same to me every day. And I'm like, whatever, you know? And like today I was going in for a second dip and I was like why is the dropper not dropping anything I was like what the hell and I look in there and I'm like that's why it's not dropping anything I was like okay I was like you know what it's a sign my make my skin needed a break from makeup so we're gonna try to work with what we got we're gonna and I was like man I was like why did I run out right before Halloween I was like, come on, of all times, like I could just go get a drugstore one. I'm kind of scared to experiment with drugstore ones. 
but I was gonna do it anyways because I'm looking for all the best non whole foggy ingredients and I found some for a drugstore so I'm like maybe 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 we'll make a quick blend tomorrow okay hmm I like how they look okay so I'm gonna wait for that to dry for a little bit so yeah I'm like, what if I just smash it and get the rest out? But I was like, what are the chances? There's some in there. <laughs> Can the dropper just not get them? I swear. You know what? Tomorrow. I'm not gonna waste any today. We're gonna we're gonna try to figure something out for today. Which probably means we'll be using concealer. We'll try to see what we can do. Okay. So I use the NYX uh, Lift and Snatch in the shade, what would that might be? Oh, Ash Brown. I was using black when my hair was darker, but now that it's clearing up, it's like, I don't like how it looks. So, can you see me guys? Yeah, the little mirror I have is not blocking. I kind of just very delicately do this. Because if you press hard, mm -mm, it's not gonna look good. It won't look like little hairs, you know what I mean? It'll just look like I put marker on my face or something like that. And that's not cute. And I just follow the way I brushed my eyebrow hairs. See? It looks nice and natural. Alright, this is the part that sucks. The other arm. <laughs> I do like very small, quick flicks. And like, whatever I'm overdoing, it's fine. Because I just go back and clean it up, like, with concealer. Ah, maybe that's too much. I keep getting notifications, that's why I look at you guys like, mm, what does it say? Because I have my notifications off because of school. I know that looks bad, but it's going to get fixed with the concealer, I promise. One side looks better because I have my eyebrows slick in the other. Just the process. So now I get this one. This is a flat brush from Morphe. It's the M432. It's just a flat brush. I love it. Helps me do my cut down. So first, I just do this. Like that. And then we're gonna actually go in and like do it. Right now I just make an outline. And I was like, I'm gonna put music on. And I was like, if I do that, I'm gonna get copyrighted. Let's not do that. Okay, guys, just sing in your head. Sing the song I'm singing in your head. It's the I'm feeling lonely and I wish I could. You know, keep it. <laughs> it's because last night my boyfriend and I were being so dumb. We were looking at edits and funny videos of Across the Spider Verse, and we found one that's very inappropriate, but. And it had that song in it, and it was so funny. I felt bad for my roommate because I was like cackling. I was like, I'm sorry, but this shit's too funny. I was like, I never, I never, I, I usually haven't had time to call with him. But yesterday I was like, how I said I wasn't feeling really good because of some personal stuff that happened. And I'm pretty sure why he was doing all that is to like try and cheer me up. I don't know. I get the feeling he was. 
So we're gonna cover up my pimples. I wish I had a green color corrector. You know how much easier that would make like everything? But I went to the store and it's like, when you're trying to find something, it's when you're least gonna find it. And that's what happened to me. And I was like, boy, I was like, I've seen these before. I'm like, what do you mean you're gone? Literally, I would see them all the time when I didn't want them, but now that I do want it, it's like, nope, we're gone. I was like, okay. But you know what? I didn't look in Ulta that time. I went to Target, and Target, you know, everyone loves going to Target, so like, it's not gonna have it, you know? Especially if it's like TikTok popular right now, which it isn't. I haven't seen it be popular, at least on my For You page. Okay. I don't want to like conceal my whole face, but I want to conceal like the ugly, ugly pimples. Not even pimples, but like, ah, oh, I have one right here on my nose. Now you guys can see it. <laughs> the rest is just like redness, a little bit, wait. Mm, look pretty good, look pretty good. Okay, we're gonna let that dry on my face a little bit. <laughs> when you're that delusional, you're just singing. Oh well, I'm thinking I'm thinking I'll probably put a little bit more on my um, eye crease area because I want to do eyeliner today, kind of to make up for the fact that I'm not going to be wearing um, makeup. And when I don't have as much of something like, like a base on, the eyeliner does not stick. So we're going to also me and tape for eyeliner are like besties. Besties. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna let this dry. Okay. Um, I diffused. Sorry, I did not mean to flip you up. <laughs> I diffused that and or diffused. I blended it out. I'm sorry, guys. We're gonna do the eyeliner. So, the part that sucks is trying to match up the tapes. Okay. I put on tape twice to make sure it turns out clean. And I just kind of try to follow. Does the tape look even? It looks even. Okay. I have two because they're like running out. And one was at home and I was like, I didn't realize I didn't take it with me. So this is the part that's gonna, that's gonna suck. I don't even know how to do this. We're gonna pray that looks good. <laughs> we'll see once we take off the tape. The reason why I said I do two tapes is because the first one I draw my line with and the second one is just to help me fill in. So let's see the results. Let's see the results. It's alright. Let's do seven tapes. I made them the same length because even though they might not end up looking like twins, we want them to at least look like sisters. We don't want cousins here, we want sisters at least. Okay, end results, three, two, one. Wow, it looks so pretty, I love it. Actually, yeah, it's all good. Okay, let's do the other one. Let's see the end results. One came out thinner than the other. <laughs> um, that's fixable. I know you guys, most people would be like, don't do it, don't the fuck up, but we're gonna do it, y'all. Okay, let's see what happened. Better. 
just need two more of the shorts. There we go. There we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna make a Felicia Hardy makeup tutorial for y'all because I love her. Love her. And her makeup is pretty. Okay, I'm gonna blend this out. I like her makeup, like how I was saying, because like it's a red with a purple, and like it's so pretty. I wish I had green lens, like I con like contacts, because then I could do her whole look. For one and two, I'm scared of contacts. Two, um, I'm scared of contacts. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Like I've seen too many videos where like people can't get contacts out, and it's like ah. That looks so bad. It freaks me out. Like, I know there's that little device that helps you take them off. It literally looks like they're about to yank their fucking eye out of their socket. Like, that's so bad. I'm like, no, bro. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Okay. We're gonna go for makeup that's natural because we don't got an option. Okay. I like this Rare Beauty, um, I already talked about it before, it's on my TikTok, y'all can go find it, I don't remember what this thing's called, oh my lord, I put too much on, let's try to balance that out, balance that out, cause I didn't get enough sleep last night, so we actually need this, <laughs> I usually don't put this on guys, but like, when I say I didn't get enough sleep last night, I mean it. Okay, also, I'm also running out of concealer. So, we're gonna go do a whole restock. I'm gonna go back to town this Friday. <laughs> okay. Also, I need to get rid of this because, like, it's, it still has some in there. I need to use it. Okay. Sorry, I was like thinking, I was like, mm, do I want to conceal my nose today? I haven't done that in a while. And I might, because I can't really do a sunburn look anymore. Like, we gotta remember, we're going to fall. It's time to look cut and crease. Oh yeah, you see how well it covered my eyes. I don't look tired anymore, y'all. Let's make my nose look sharp. There we go. Pardon me, my most natural makeup look yet. I know what I forgot. I've been not okay today. I'll show you what I forgot. Very important step. My primer. I forgot my primer. Especially with me having enlarged effing pores. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> Today we don't care. We don't have an option. Here. I have a new. Ah, oh, my nose is itchy. You see how much life that has? Can't give up on it. But I do like the new Kat Von D one I bought. And it doesn't have any cold, poor clogging ingredients because it's vegan. That's not why, I, like even though it's vegan, sometimes I can have poor clogging ingredients. But like, this one I checked. So, also, shame on me. But I have not cleaned any of my brushes or beauty blenders because I legit have not had time. Shame on me for that though. Because I'm always saying, clean your brushes guys. And it's like, why don't you clean your brushes, girl? <laughs> and I'm like, 
real. So real. I want to do like a Tim Burton look one day. I love Tim Burton. Like the Tim Burton movies. Corpse Bride has chokehold on me. Love it. Like the one scene that breaks me all the time is I would never marry you. Like this. And she's like, you're supposed to marry me. This and that. And then when he says, when Victor says that to Emily, I'm like, oh, I'm like, damn. Let me go kill myself real quick. Like, if I were Emily, I'd be like, let me go kill myself again real quick. Because, damn. Damn. I was like, and then when she says, I love you, Victor, but you're not mine. I was like, nah. <laughs> Dead ass. Just thinking about it makes my eyes, like, water. I don't know why. Like, that scene is so sad to me. I'm like, she just wanted to be loved. She just wanted to be married. I was like, I'll marry you. I'm like, this this girl deserves to be happy. Like, look how watery my eyes got just from thinking about that scene. Like, she deserved better. She didn't deserve Victor. Like, he deserved better, homegirl. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this. I found out this is a gel-based um, contour. And I'm like, that is so slay. Gave myself that Tim Burton snatch look. Yeah. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. I really like how my eyebrows look right now. They look so pretty. <sighs> but yeah, guys, that scene from Corpse Bride has a chokehold on me like that girl deserved better like killed by her lover who was supposed to marry her just so he could get the money and he didn't as he shouldn't like oh she deserves better a little too dark we'll fix it <laughs> be careful <laughs> don't put too much on guys I might have gotten a little carried away when doing this look it's fine it's so carried away people won't even notice I'm not wearing foundation. Oh well. My eyelids are creasing. It's almost bueno. Blush. I almost forgot blush. I almost always forget blush, but not today. We want that blush. You're not supposed to do that because it's going to collect bacteria, but... <laughs> oh well. We want to look blushy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to steal some from her sister over here because sister's being greedy and has a lot more foundation. foundation. I'm traumatized by the fact that I don't have foundation on. How she has a lot more blush than she has. set and stuff like that and I'll come back once I'm doing um, bronzer and highlights and stuff and then I'll skip again to like once I have mascara on and we're back I did my um, mascara which I should have waited to do my bottle blushes for the mascara but it's okay I was able to 
do that. Here we go. Maybe I don't need foundation. So far, it's looking pretty good. <laughs> you know what that, what I just said. Sorry, I was looking at something. Um, what I just said reminded me of, hey man, that looks pretty good. Turns around, where are your clothes at? <laughs> I saw a meme with it last night, um, which I thought was so funny for me to share with you guys. So as you know, I love Ghostface, but not in the sexual format, but I know, I know what goes on in the internet. And <laughs> I saw this thing, this guy has this big ass collection of masks and the robes and stuff like that. And it's like me, me, the guy's like me showing to my new girl, like on my mask and he turns around, hey, where are your clothes at? <laughs> he caught me so off guard. I was like, okay. No, the reason I love Ghostface is because I'm a big fan of horror. Um, always have been, thanks to, I don't know if they ever watch my YouTube channels, but my Uncle Fernie and Uncle Richard. It's weird calling them my uncle, I see them more as my cousins because they're pretty young, so. But anything I love horror related is all thanks to them. And I think, uh, I think was Scream one of the first things I watched? By myself i think i don't know it's not horror it's like gore and like a chasey like action uh suspense you know i like it because it there's a lot of it a lot of things i like about it like it, it really has changed horror it always like tries to come out with the best new thing for for movies to follow and to me that's pretty cool you know i i've always liked their chase scenes I kind of like how it, it, it all happened because like people like this is a real thing people come to become very very obsessed with fandoms and I mean that's why Billy and Stu Mocker you know first killed because they were obsessed with this and like that can very much happen out there in the world and I'm not supporting any of that I just I just think I like the idea of it being realistic in a sense I used to think it wasn't until I found out a story that kind of inspired Scream and I was like damn that's crazy and like movies that kind of did that and could have followed it and actually stayed close to the um, to the og thing was like the texas chainsaw massacre but instead no offense to anyone who likes texas chainsaw massacre just me personally i think it, it could have been more than what it is i feel like they may they they dumped it down for what it could could have been a story that could have been told you know like even if they didn't make movie after movie after movie i think one good movie telling like the story would have made it just as or more popular kind of like the stories of like and the documentaries of ted bundy and Dahmer. if they would have told the og one for texas chainsaw massacre i think that in a not good way would have gained popularity but it, it, it like people would have like been like oh so that's what went down you know what i mean you know like if they dumbed it down with the purpose of maybe people won't get like um how do you call it obsessed with it it's not gonna work people are gonna obsess with whatever they're gonna obsess like they're gonna find a way to obsess with something just the other day i was listening to people like news and stuff like that that there's someone in florida I think they arrested him already, but he was dressing up as Michael Myers and literally hurting people. You see what I mean? Like, Scream kind of demonstrated to us, like, people can take it far. And, like, it happens in the real world. And, like, I also do, like, my horror horror, like, that's, like, paranormal and stuff like that, like, conjuring type of thing. And, but, I don't know, I kind of like the realism of Scream, because it can happen, you know? I don't know. I also like his costume because like they take something that could look so innocent in a way like it's just a ghost mask you know what i mean and they could just make it like like me putting myself in that spot like me looking at the costume now it's like whatever but like i know if i were in their spot and i see that fucking mask and like it's true <laughs> damn right i'd be running for my life damn right i'd be screaming and scared like oh no i know scream will always be one of my favorite franchises the makeup look y'all it looks so pretty 
Maybe I don't need foundation. Maybe, maybe I'll stay away from foundation for a little bit. We'll see how my makeup looks. I'm gonna use the matte finish for NYX. And we'll see how this looks by the end of the day. But um, I'll show you my outfit right now. This is Spider-Man and you for my phone, I was covering the camera. <laughs> but this is the outfit. I have a cute little like bralette under. You kind of can't see it. Um, there, kind of can see it. Um, I don't know. I think my outfit's cute. I still need to do my hair, but I need to wait for it to dry. So yeah. I'm gonna diagnose my hair as clinically insane because I do not like the way it dried. <laughs> so I'm like, tomorrow we are definitely gonna straighten the hair because it's Halloween. You gotta look cute. So my roommate, she uh, did most of the decorations. Um, Flip this. Hold on. Better my keychain keeps getting in the way. But anyways, she did these. Look how cute. That's my blanket. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, she has a bundle of those. She didn't know what to do with it. So I'm gonna help her decorate. Let's try. Try not Halloween. Love Halloween. Um, I woke up at 5 in the morning. Came to the gym, did a run walk. Can you see the moon? The moon looks beautiful. I love Halloween. Like, I'm sad I don't get to spend at home and, like, I don't get to do spooky basket with my boy here. I love spooky baskets. I love Christmas baskets. I love baskets on any holiday. It's just, like, my favorite thing to do. I used to say like I love perfection, but hold on. I'm still not comfortable walking in front of people. There was like two girls walking by and I was like, let me shut that off. Um I was gonna say that I love spooky masks. Before I used to think it's just like oh just affection, love kisses, you know, whatever. But I have become the type of person that loves giving gifts. Like I love gift giving. That's my biggest thing. But I'm gonna shower and get ready because I have a lot to do today. Okay, so last minute change, we decided, well, I decided, I was like, guys, should we get pizza? And they're like, sounds like a good idea. So I'm going to go get pizza because I ordered. But, but, I checked the website and I kept checking, 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 checking. Pizza's been done five minutes ago. <laughs> they said they would send me a text and they never did. And it wasn't like, until I realized, I was like, bruh, are you serious? So, be back. Okay, y'all, we secured the order. Also, the cashier complimented my costume. This has been the third or fourth compliment I got today. The other day, or the other time, I was walking um, back here to the dorms, and this car literally stopped, rolled the window down. They're like, I love your costume. They called me Gwen. I'm so. That's okay, though. As long as they know it's Spider Man or some kind of Spider Man, it's fine. Understandable, you know? Not many people know Silk. But this cashier's like, not a lot of people dress as silk or no silk. And I was like, respect. I respect you already. Thank you for knowing. So yeah, I'll keep updating you. I'll tell you more, more, more tomorrow. Hello, everyone. I'm tired. <laughs> um, You can't really see my eye bags from here. Kind of. But I'm tired because I went to sleep like at 1. And then I had to wake up at 5 a.m to go to my labs and my lecture and I still have one more lab so I'm tired but overall yesterday yeah, was really fun I'm gonna like do work while I talk to you guys because um, I did sleep I took a nap from like 12 to 2 30 because if I didn't do that I don't think I would have survived my day <laughs> I'm extremely tired but basically yesterday was so much fun I think I like, told you most of the thing that happened. 
I like I almost complimented my costume and this and that and oh this is so unhelpful because all my notes are on my phone and guess what the phone's the camera that's fine <laughs> or we'll work off my computer but um yeah so I ordered pizza for the girls last second and we decided to watch Scream the first one because if any of you know me I love a horror like a good horror that to me has always been my favorite franchise let's not talk so much about the second and third movie but anything four five and six have been really good and the first one <laughs> those other two I cannot defend them but besides that I love the franchise <laughs> Um, and we all we all got to like meet each other more because we're usually super busy. We're all in our little world, and so then I was the one who came up with the idea. Like we should do something for Halloween. They're like, yeah. And they all brought snacks. Like go get to see a little quick video, and maybe I'll put pictures. And uh, we all had fun watching it. Then we were telling spooky stories after, and like like just stuff that kind of gave you chills and stuff like that. But like the best way to end the night was the fact that, um, what was it? Oh yeah, as soon as the movie ends, well, I checked my phone because like the whole time I was like super into the movie, no one was touching their phone and stuff like that. And afterwards I checked because I think my mom had also texted me. And it turns out I won a giveaway. And I was like, yeah, like no way. Um, it's from this company, they're called Steyer Boxes, Steer Boxes. Um, it's on Instagram and they do horror stuff they do mystery boxes and I've been following them since 2021 when I first found them I've never bought anything because like they're a bit pricey but they're pricey for a valuable reason it's a small company it's quality stuff you know what I mean I just I've never been able to buy that stuff and my mom also doesn't like when I buy horror stuff so I have to buy it without her finding out and I'm over here like yeah horror you know also sounds like I'm saying a different word but I swear I'm not it's h-o-r I was gonna say in Spanish sorry h-o-r-r-o-r -R -R. I'm too tired you get the point scary stuff yeah and so yeah I won that giveaway and apparently there's like three three trip three times the chances to win because there's first second and third place I won first place. I got the deluxe box that's worth a hundred dollars. I was like, there's a way. And like, I was so appreciative and I was like, they asked me for like my location. So I sent this to them and everything. I think this has been my second time in my life where I ever want to give away. The first one was for like this small little Instagram account. They sent me like cute little pictures for my band and stuff like that. And I, I thought it was the coolest thing ever, but like this is something I never imagined. But let me tell you guys, there is a lesson with this. Sorry, I felt like my chest hurting. That That's really weird. I felt like hurt, like in this area. Anyways, go to sleep guys, get your rest. Cause if not, you're gonna be feeling like you're on drugs the rest of the day. <laughs> that reminds me of the one TikTok. And not the TikTok, the SNL by Pete Davidson, the, like his recreation of I'm just Ken where he's like and I do you know y'all should know what I'm talking about I'm not really good at rephrasing unless it's Spider-Man also go watch Spider-Man it's on Netflix it's like Miguel O'Hara <laughs> I'm obsessed with that man anyways I hope my boyfriend doesn't watch that because he probably will he knows that I love Miguel anyways um, what was I going with this? Oh yeah, lesson behind that uh, giveaway because I, I saw a big lesson behind it. <sighs> when you want something, don't want it. Just let it go. Because the more you want it, it's like a magnet, but that like that are facing the same direction. The more you want to place them together, the further they're gonna push away. Just, it's hard to say, want something without wanting it, if that makes sense. It's like, like leave it on the back of your head when you're like when where you're not even thinking about it. Like it's hard to explain. It's like saying, you know what, I really want this I don't know, purse. But it's not like I'm gonna go scavenger hunt it at the store. Cause I'm not gonna find it. I'm just gonna be like, oh, 
little memory thing. One day maybe I'll get that thing and then eventually maybe you'll find it. That's what happened to me. I, I honestly had forgot I entered that giveaway and I thought it was a scam at first because I know they've had some scam accounts and they told us to be careful with that. And so then I go in and I'm like, it's like saying like word for word and I'm like, so I click in and I realize it's the real account. And I was like, oh my God. Like afterwards it like hit me. I was like, I forgot I entered this thing because I just left it at the back of my hand. Like I just entered and was like, whatever, you know? Like, let's just see what happens. So little life's lesson, want without wanting. That is the quote of the day, want without wanting. But yeah, I don't know. I thought that was really exciting. I thought that was a good way to end the night because like, I also kind of did miss like going home for the holidays. Rip. I didn't like how I wrote that. It wasn't making sense. Anyways, um, I was kind of sad that I hadn't gone home for like Halloween because Halloween's like my favorite holiday. But like my mom sent me this really funny picture, which also made my night. Um, I have, like I said, I love Scream. <laughs> so I have this like, I don't know, three foot puppet of Ghostface. Also, it's so funny because in the first movie, apparently his costume is called Father Death and I could not stop laughing at that. I was like, bro, how is that Father Death? Like he does not look like the Grim Ripper. Like, no, I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm sorry if I triggered anyone. Raper, Ripper, I say Grim Ripper. Anyways, um, because my boyfriend makes fun of me of the way I say things. I have a very particular way of saying things, but anyways. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that freaking puppet, my dad took it out and he puts it like, there's like this window that's like at the, like, the entrance of the house. It's like entrance door and then little porch and window towards like the living room where the entrance is at of my house. And there's these sheer curtains. He opened them wide open and like the wall is, oh, I forgot what color the wall is. I think it's like beige and there's this flower painting and then there's a brown sofa and he put ghost face just right there. And he's just like this leaning forward, like staring. And my mom said that to me, she's like, I got the living scared out of me. I felt my blood drop. She's like, I'm outside and your freaking father does this. She's like, I'm outside. I turn, make pure eye contact with this dude. And I just felt my blood drop. And I was just cackling. I was like, there's no way this man did that to my mom. Like my poor mother, like I already had to drag her to watch Scream 5 with six, Scream 6 with me. And she was a little traumatized because she's not into horror anymore. I don't know. I just thought it was so funny and it made my night. And it's actually a really cool picture. I'm gonna probably just post it for like a few seconds so you guys can see. I thought it was a cool picture. And like I even posted it on my Instagram, like on my little, cause I made a little Halloween post. I posted it at the end. Cause I, I don't know, I just love that picture. It's so aesthetically like Halloween pleasing to me. I don't know, I thought it was cool. But another funny thing that happened is that I, thought I was gonna go to lab really unprepared because like I've told you guys like my anatomy lab's like very strict and it makes sense you know because like most of us are planning on becoming doctors so like the studying you have to like start getting used to like that heavy studying and I thought I didn't study enough but I guess I misread the freaking lab manuals always because I don't know they make it so complicated to read but um yeah I misread it and I was like damn like I didn't get to the cranial nerves Guys, cranial nerves is not, not until next week. This week was just the peripheral and interior, like down here nerves, you know, if that makes sense. And I get to the lab and I'm like, well, if I know, I know. And if I don't, I'm effed, you know? So I go in and she starts talking about all these things I know. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm like answering, answering and this and that. So she asks us as a group and I was like, you know what? Maybe I was prepared. And then she says, yeah, cranial nerves this week till next week. I was like, bruh. I was like, you mean to tell me? I was stressed this morning just because I re misread it. <laughs> so I was really happy to know that I, I went to sleep as fast as I could last night and not caring. And knowing I actually studied enough. And like a lot of people did not know the answers to our little quiz we take at the end. Like 
not to be mean, but that gave me a little bit of a boost because that means I studied enough. I was like, you know what, I did good enough. And then something funny happened because like, I like saying I'm Spider-Man. But like, don't let my boyfriend hear that because they'll tell me I'm cringy. I'm like, you know what, shut up, shut up. I am Spider-Man. Um, I was in there and then I, she like tries to grab something and like something else falls. I legit felt like the world slowed down. I also don't know if it's like because of how tired I am. And like I had time to realize it's falling down and like I caught it just like that and I just like doop, like fixed it and then like I turned back and I just hear these two boys behind me and they're like good catch and I was like spider sense is tingled no, just kidding and I just thought that was funny the stupidest crap makes my day it's probably because of how tired <laughs> Uh, I need to go to bed. I was gonna do like a fun workout today, but I think I'm just gonna go do a like one hour walk and call it a day because I really need to sleep, guys. Like, I'm just tired. I deserve to sleep. I don't know. I lost. I lost my spot. The info. Because I'm trying to write and like talk to you guys at the same time. But yeah. I just want to update you guys because I want to get better at recording, which I've been doing really good this week. I, I recorded a lot of content for you guys. Um, so yeah, um, I don't want to make too long of a video for you guys. So I'll probably it's like stop recording Friday and then start recording like my Saturday and Sunday and then whatever I get in the week. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. If I record, we'll see what happens.